So we're gonna talk about Parabola that comes out of our Vintage Barrel Program. It's near and dear to my heart. Uh, we've been making this beer since probably the late part of 2005 and definitely in the early part of 2006 because this was one of the first uh, of the components of our anniversary series of beers and we released that beer back in 2006. So let's get into it. All right, um, you know, when we first started brewing Parabola, uh, this, you know, back over 10 years ago, uh, 20 Play-Doh beers were extreme, and we came out of the gates probably at somewhere between 25 and 26 Play-Doh, which was a big beer in those days. And, you know, every brewery that has a barrel aging program has an Imperial Stout, or just about everyone that you look at. So in many ways, you know, this is the, the Cabernet of the portfolio. It's the, the big, bold beer. Uh, if you're blending like we are, it can be the lead component or it can be a little bit, has a huge impact on the blend. Um, but for me, it also, at least in the case of Parabola, picks up so much house character. And when I taste Imperial Stouts from all these different breweries, um, you do, you get to taste the yeast of the brewery. Um, you learn a little bit about how the barrels are treated, whether they're cold stored or warm stored. So, you know, Parabola uses our house ale yeast. You know, when I smell this beer, I can smell in the background the esters that the yeast produced. Um, you know, there's a little fresh apple, there's some juicy fruit gum back in there. But, you know, most uh, impactful in this beer is what the barrel brings. It brings all sorts of booze, basically. You know, you have all the beautiful bear, uh, bourbon barrel hit. Uh, you get the background of vanilla. And after these beers have been in barrel for at least six months and right around six, eight months, you start getting this background coconut. Um, some of the pastry uh, essence that the barrel gives along with the char um, and, and it's just so many complex and beautiful notes that can come from these barrels. Um, I don't think I've talked about the base malts for this and obviously that plays big. There's a lot of malty character. This is now a 33 Play-Doh original gravity beer with a lot of residual beautiful caramel sugars in the finish. Um, you know, we use a couple different caramel malts. Uh, one of the key ingredients from the malt standpoint is roasted barley, which is roasted very uh, similarly akin to coffee. So it has, you know, coffee notes, roasty notes, um, toasted bread notes. Mm. And what I love about these beers after they've been in barrel for a year like this one is that all the rough edges have been trimmed off. Um, yes, it's an aggressive big beer by beer standards, but you know, the sharp dark chocolate notes have been mellowed out into more milk chocolate notes. The sharp roast notes have become more of that kind of coffee house character. Um, just, they're just beautiful beers all around and uh, you know, best enjoyed in a small glass like this, a snifter. Allow it to warm up a little bit as you're tasting it and yeah, and just enjoy the aromas and flavors and sip on it. It's a good fireside beer for sure. Each year we release Parabola, we've started to do variants. Um, and oftentimes these are kind of Eric's brainchilds, things that he's come across that might work really well, say a new barrel provider. Or in this case, we did a double barrel version of Parabola. And double barrel literally means that Eric racked Parabola into a bourbon barrel, let it sit for a full year, and then pulled it out and racked it into another spirits barrel. So it got two years of aging. Um, so it's gonna have twice the barrel impact. Um, it does pick up a little more alcohol as a result, but I think most importantly, you just get an extreme case of, of, of the impact of the barrel on a beer. Um, Again, this is the first time we've released something like this. Again, just pours like crude oil, gorgeous black beer. And uh, I think what you're gonna come across is just the impact of the barrel. Yeah, you know, it's, it's even boozier. It's got more of the bourbon, more of the vanilla, more of the char, but there's just that beautiful uh, parabola in the background still. You know, our program has leaned not towards super sweet beers, but beers that are balanced, um, relatively lean, uh, with the alcohol expression coming through. And again, the yeast plays its part. Ah, it's just a gorgeous variant of that beer. 
really like it. And last and certainly not least, probably the beer variant of Parabola that I'm most excited about and something we probably should have done a long time ago is Uberana Parabola. Um, Uberana is a wood grown in Brazil and brewers down there turned me on to this years and years ago. And uh, I always had it in my back pocket and, and never chose to use it. And more recently, we've done some collaborations and some other projects with this wood, and we decided it was gonna pair perfectly uh, with Parabola. So, you know, the way this is actually made is we don't have barrels made of Uberana wood. What we have, uh, we start with Parabola, one year bourbon barrel aged, then we move it into the cellar and we actually have uh, Uberana staves or pieces of this wood that have been toasted um, specially made, brought into the brewery, and then we age the beer on those staves. And uh, I mean, you gotta experience it, and this beer is the best way to do so. Umarana, unlike oak, I mean, oak imparts vanilla. Oak imparts a little bit of that coconut that we talked about, but Umarana is just the, uh, the bakery spice cabinet. I mean, my gosh, there's, there's cinnamon in there. There's a heightened vanilla, but it's a different vanilla that comes from oak. Mm. Man, and it, it carries a little bit of sweetness. There's a little bit of cinnamon in the background of that. This is a really special beer, and I'm so glad we made it. Um, probably my favorite Parabola variant to date, if I can say that. You're not supposed to pick your favorite child, but this is really nice, and you gotta get this for sure.